God. Shannon yeah. family matter, no ifs, ands, or buts. Not picture perfect in them pictures, but it's really us. And we embrace all the love. Y'all be showing trust through the ups and downs. But it's good in front of you, know what? Keeping it ripping the beginning, we've been authentic. Even though baby getting big, still that is princess. LJ got in the college just like I predicted. Through thick and thin, it was sin. That's why she the missus. And that's the man of the house. I just play my role. So wipe your feet before you step foot through them doors. Cause this is not your typical television show. It's in the family matters, not the wins lows. What? <sighs> Good morning, you guys, on this Saturday. Got a lot to do today. Busy, busy, busy. List of things to do. First off, Baby has another cheerleading competition this year. Y'all remember she won last year, first place. They're at it again this year for 2024. So, we got that going on this morning. Secondly, they told me it's mandatory that I come to work on a Saturday. I almost told them it's mandatory to go to hell with gasoline draws on too, because I ain't coming, type shit. But, I had to retract that statement simply because I need that bag and this is overtime. So that's extra cash for these holidays coming up. On second thought, uh, y'all got me. You got me this time. So I'm gonna be there, but I told them that I'm gonna leave early. You feel me? I got things going on. You can't just hit a bitch 48 hours before the time and, and drop that on them. You feel what I'm saying? That's the only thing I hate about them. They'll do that shit at the drop of a dime. You feel me? Instead of two weeks in advance, so everybody have time to make their plans at home or maneuver their plans around. You feel what I'm saying? Like, bitch, my home is priority. Not this motherfucker job. You feel me? But that's what it is. And um, like I said, this holiday's coming up. I gotta support the family and I need that bag. You feel what I'm saying? So we plan on doing a lot of shit this upcoming holidays. As you know, Thanksgiving coming up, Christmas coming up, me and Shane anniversary coming up again. Fast as fuck. Three years, y'all. Three years married. You know what I'm saying? That's coming up, and then her birthday, and then Christmas. So, a lot of shit coming up. I need that bag. So, I'm headed to work right now. And, um, yeah, I'm going to leave early. And thirdly, a motherfucker done scraped my motherfucking car at the car shop getting the oil change. Back in my shit, I scraped my shit, right? This happened, like, fucking two weeks ago, like, right before my window cracked. You feel what I'm saying? I got that shit fixed. This is, like, a month later at this point. These motherfuckers just taking my car, right, this week. But it was supposed to be done in two days. They took the shit Tuesday. Bro, I got to get my shit back next week, Monday or Tuesday. I'm pissed, bitch. So in case y'all ain't noticed, I'm in a business truck. You feel me? Driving to work. Granted, it take the miles off my car. But yet, I'm in a motherfucking business truck. You feel what I'm saying? I don't want to be in the business truck. I only drive this shit when I'm going to put in my own work. Not somebody else's motherfucking work. You feel what I'm saying? I don't get paid for these ballots. Per se. You feel what I'm saying? This for my customers. This is not to be a customer. I'm not a customer. You feel me? It's like I'm a customer in my own motherfucking truck. No. Like, tight shit. With that being said, I'm finna hurry up, get to work, so I can hurry up, get off and go like an hour and some change to try to make it to baby competition. It's all part of being the father, bro. Success don't stop over here, I told y'all, bro. No matter what the fuck going on, bro. The show must go on, bro. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So that's what it is. I'm um, fuck with y'all in a couple hours. I should be at baby um competition in a couple hours. Uh, so I'll meet y'all though. Alright you guys, I done did my thing, got the job, as you can see, still got my fucking safety vest, I'm about to head out, I know y'all seen the girls, 
at their destination and ready to go take the stage and kill it. See how they dress? I told them, boy, you better put belt the ass dressed like that. Can't be dressed to kill and go in there and get killed. You feel me? So uh, I'm about to head there. I can't miss it. Y'all already know. Baby expecting me. All the girls expecting me to be there, honestly. But yeah, I got to make it there. Uh, I got two hours to get there. I'm an hour away, so I'll see y'all when I make it there. After dodging all the traffic, oh my God, I was speeding. I'm here. The girls haven't went on yet. They're right in front of me now, practicing. I just pulled up in front of them. They're getting ready.
told everybody that she came in there and that bitch. I'm like, listen, the girls go to the back, y'all gonna get them in trouble, y'all gonna get them dark. They like, oh, I don't care. That's my new girl. Oh, my girl. You did awesome. Yeah, you got like five minutes. She had to go on there and tell them what it was. Oh no, that's a deduction. Sean. She can't do that. That's a deduction. Oh no, 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 no. I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Technical difficulties. Give us just a moment and we'll be right back. They turn it a whole nother way. Yeah. She's bleeding. She's bleeding. Oh, 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 she's b
once again, I'm attorney Alton Edmond. Thank you so much for your time. God bless.
champions? That's crazy. They 3 owed them, y'all. They won all three awards. What you got to say? You say it to your coach. Um, there was a lot of hard work and dedication. Um, I wasn't there the whole last week because I had a headache. And Coach Shatina was the one. She said her thing. What you got to say about these girls? They're not that. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, family? As y'all saw a few days ago, Baby Them definitely put belt to ass. They 3-0 the cheerleaders in the competition and won all three awards. You know, last year they only won first place and they didn't win the grand championship, which is everything. You feel me? The other team won. But this year, MJ them came back for revenge, bro. Revenge best served cold. They came back this year stronger than ever. It was a hassle, you feel me, throughout the year getting the routine together. They hard-headed, as y'all know. But they finally came together, as they always do, when it's time to step on that mat. They did their thing, as y'all saw. Our flyer, baby, she did her thing. Y'all seen her going up in there every time, flipping all type of shit. She still got a little more work to do, but she was scared to even do all that. So she's coming out of shell with that. We about to put her in some gymnastics, some extra shit. So when she go into high school, she gonna be ready to go. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, she did her thing. She, they brought it together. Her base, they caught her when they threw up in there and she came down and dropped her like they did in practice. All type of shit. They just brought that shit together. And as y'all see, Practice made perfect. The girls won all three. They won first place, grand champion, everything, bruh. They ain't leave no crumbs on the table, boy. So, shout out to Baby. She's starting to get her trophy game up. You feel what I'm saying? Trying to overshadow LJ, I guess. But yeah, she doing her thing, man. Um, and yeah, man, that's that. Chilling right now, just got home. Finally got my car back. You feel what I'm saying? Remember I was telling y'all, my car had done got ripped by the goddamn associate at the motherfucking Midas car shop after doing my oil change, letting Jit back my car up out of there. He scraped the motherfucking pole on the way out type shit. Like, how the fuck y'all got this man driving people expensive cars, bro? If he don't know what the fuck he doing, he should just be changing the oil and that's that. You feel what I'm saying? He done wrecked my shit back and out, so I made the ad pay for my shit. So I did pick my shit up today after having it done a month later. I'll let y'all see how it look. Look at my baby, y'all. That's my baby right there. Baby my baby, but this my baby right here. Clean as fuck. Y'all see I got my windshield done already. You feel me? Ain't no more cracks on that bitch. But yeah, this side here, it's all yellow and shit, bruh, because he hit the yellow pole, bruh. So they took my whole bump off. And now my shit cleaner than the bitch. Made him get me right. So just to take off this whole entire bumper, just for one side that he scraped, which was this side, that shit cost a thousand dollars, bro. You think I was gonna come out of pocket, bitch? And with my insurance, hell no, nah, bitch. I made Midas pay for that shit. Might as well. Fuck my shit up and think I'm gonna pay for it. I got my shit right. Picked it up today after a week of them having my shit just for the bottom bump. I'm like, bro, it don't take that fucking long. I'm starting to think they were driving my shit because they don't know that alerts come to my motherfucking phone and watch every time they touch my shit. You feel me? They don't know I know that. I'm like, bitch, the motherfucker got to be driving my shit. Feel what I'm saying? I don't like that shit. Don't drive my shit, boy. But anyway, they weren't driving it because I took a picture of my goddamn gas tank before I dropped it off of their ass in my mouth to make sure that shit didn't move. I matched that bitch up when I got in the car. You feel me? It was just some milliseconds off and that's because they going back and forth inside the shop. So it was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's another story. Right now, y'all that hear that noise, that's because I'm draining my AC. So if you guys don't know, for your homeowners, drain your AC. When you start seeing like, you know, it freezes over and shit like that, and then now I go to leaking, that's because it's like probably got some like clogged up stuff, all type of shit that's getting caught up in the filter and all that, and it's going up and it's clogging it up within the pipes. You gotta flush it. So Shan made us buy dry vac. 
At first, I was like, brain by the motherfucker drive back. You already know what Shed like to do shit we ain't needed at the time. So I'm like, Shed, before this started happening, we ain't need it. You feel what I'm saying? So I ain't know we was going to need it. So I'm like, Shed, at the time, no, we ain't buying it. Because I don't know why the fuck you buying that shit. Keep in mind now, I ain't know that this shit was going to ever happen. It never happened before. Shed say buy this motherfucking vacuum. So I'm like, man, y'all want to buy motherfucking vacuums, dog. We got too many motherfucking vacuums. For all these different things, just use one for one thing. But to, hey, unfortunately, you can't do it that way. But I'm thinking you can. You feel me? You know me. I'm thinking anyway that Shad can save motherfucking money. So, long story short, I was wrong. And she was right again. Because now I'm using that motherfucker. She told me I used it one day. I'm like, hey, you that shit. That shit out of here. You feel me? It was in the box for the longest. Till this shit occurred. And I'm like, uh, this is why she said about this shit. So, give or take. Sometimes sad shit be coming to life, you feel me? Sometimes that shit be dead, bro, but then later on, that bitch like, you feel me? This how I look. Y'all don't know what a dry back is. We had bought this bitch, it was on sale, dawg. This bitch was once like, I think like 250 or whatever, but that bitch was on sale for like, I think 80, 80 dollars or whatever, and it was at Costco and Sam was like, get it. I'm like, nah, man, fuck that shit. But I'm like, fuck it, just get it. It's only $80. We be trying to say it all. Sam be trying to spend every motherfucking dime in the motherfucking bank. But it's for a good use. So it's definitely working. It's suctioning the water out of the pipes. This way you guys come back. You come back here by your AC unit. And then it's this little white PVC pipe, right? And you take this little part off. You screw it off. the water out. So don't think your AC broke, it happens. So you just suction all the little stuff out of there, bro. And once you guys do that, it'll stop your AC from freezing up and leaking. You feel what I'm saying? So don't think, ah, oh, damn, I'm finna call the AC people out here. You feel me? They finna charge y'all motherfucking 500 to to $1,000 just to come back here and do this shit, dog. That only take about like five or 10 minutes, bro. But y'all not thinking, cause y'all think, ah, oh, you know, this is an AC unit tech person kind of thing. I don't know shit about that. Woo the woo. And they happy to come out here, bitch. They happy as fuck. They like, oh yeah, we got them. Dog, finna charge y'all ass an arm and a motherfucking leg, literally, to come out here and do this. You feel me? So go get a drive back, bro. Come back here, do your own shit, bro. I just dropped some gems on y'all for those who didn't know. You feel what I'm saying? Get your old man out here in the backyard like me. You feel what I'm saying? And have his ass get down here, drive back on that bitch. You good to go. You feel me? Y'all fam, I fuck with y'all, so I'm gonna drop nuggets on your ass. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all just gotta catch him. If I know some shit, I'ma let y'all know. But that's what it is, man. I'm about to continue doing this shit. Shannon, they done put her in another motherfucking Benz, by the way. So Shannon done drove every motherfucking Mercedes in the Mercedes family. Just know that. When she come, I'ma show y'all the motherfucking Benz. <laughs> They done put her back in the bed, dog. Took out of the Nissan. She said the shit wasn't riding good. And it smelled like motherfucking 305 packs of cigarettes type shit. <laughs> Whatever the fuck y'all be smoking. It smelled like that in the Nissan. She ain't want no motherfucking Nissan no more. Goddamn Mercedes put her in another motherfucking bed. She done drove every motherfucking Benz on the motherfucking lot, dog. That's crazy. I'm gonna show y'all, though. Y'all just wait. We'll be right back with her. So Shannon baby has arrived home. Time to see her bins. Oh yeah, she went about her fucking yeti bucket too. Time I should wash her fucking car. No, you ain't. Stop being disrespectful. Who are you talking to? So they they they, they trying to they trying to stop giving her all these motherfucking cars. Hurry up. Where baby at? No, you're being Where baby? So this is how it looks in the inside. Digital dash. Long sunroof top all the way to the back. Very spacious. I think it's a GLE. And as you can see, she junkie in the shit up like it's a motherfucking house. Shit crazy. 
Very nice though. Very elegant. So now I'm about to go pick up my truck because I dropped it off to the car shop and picked my shit up and brought it home. You don't got the thing, do you? What? So now I'm about to go pick that up and um, I'll see y'all tomorrow. What's up, you guys? On this Friday, last day of the week, we're about to take on this nonprofit event we have in Orlando. It's a Halloween event. Got to take my girls with me. They're going to hold it down with me. We're going to go ahead and handle this. So we're going to see y'all when we get there because we're getting ready right now. And y'all already know how that goes. We got to make sure we don't forget nothing, no controllers, all that type of shit. Got to make a good impression. You feel me? So we can get more business. That's how that shit works. So we're going to see y'all when we get there. all the little festivities that's going on around us, all the setups. And we locked and loaded, ready to go. Explosive gaming in the building. Gonna be big as ever soon, y'all. Y'all already know. Trust the process. Gotta trust the process. Gotta stay down till we come up. That's what we doing. The girls out right now, they walking around, visiting all the shops around. Hey, until then, we gonna see y'all once we done. We gonna show y'all the festivities throughout the night. Man, explosive gaming. If you can't say it right, don't say it at all. I ran up a check, I might do it again Enemies close, had me thinking they're friends Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my ass Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend If I do it once, I do it again Add it up, add it up. bankroll, bankroll. Euro. Euro, peso, peso. Add, it up. add it up I'm just doing me, everything is on me Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Me. Everything is on me, gon' back it up Matter what? Told you I'ma do me, why you hatin' on me? It's not adding up I do roll like a Mack truck Country heart, I'ma cop a farm and go act up Lot of scars, I was cold hearted, now I'm backed up Keep it real, I do this once a month, I don't rap much I just take the money and go stack up Only buying car heart, car car, take it tatted up All that other bull, it don't matter much You only climb me, I put the ladders up No fault I done doubled up on the workload I think I fell in love with the bankroll Pray up, get money, then we lay low Then we lay low Add it up, add it up. Bankroll. bankroll Euro, peso, peso. Add, it up. add it up I'm just doing me, everything is on me Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Bankroll. bankroll Euro, peso, peso. Add it up
Hi guys, I'm sick. Because that yeah, bodice got me sick. Um, we ended our event tonight. It was successful. We got paid. Well, bodice got paid. And, um, thanks for joining us on the Halloween event. And we will see you guys on the next vlog. Peace. Hey, how we ended. Thank you guys for joining us for this event. And we will see y'all in the next vlog. We appreciate y'all for appreciating us. And as always, we appreciate I <laughs> Shut up. Why are you coaching me? God, Lee, stop coaching me. From the fucking background. Let me end it how I want to end it. Uh. He always <laughs> coaching me. Like, I didn't start this motherfucker. Rookie. Like, I didn't start the motherfucker. Start with, this the Temptations, nigga. You Otis. I'm Otis. No, yeah, I'm Otis. They you ain't Otis. They come to see me. Not you. This Shannon family matters. Yeah. Nigga, I made this. Yeah, Otis. As always, we appreciate y'all for appreciating us. <laughs> see y'all next one. <laughs> I ain't saying it no more, damn it. Bye, y'all. <laughs>